Hey guys, welcome to another 5 man strat video. My name is Diffuse Dynamo and today we're on the map Oregon defending laundry and supply room with the operators Mira, Kaid, Jaeger, Mute and Maestro. Starting off as always with Mirror, then you're going to make your way up into Lobby and you're going to shoot out the end of the north wall of Classroom. This is so, it's part of a big plan to stop them from being able to get open the hatch because if you didn't know already, you can thermite that wall and the hatch will still be destroyed if you do it at crouch height. After you've done that, you're going to make your way into supply and reinforce the north wall before placing your first mirror window on said wall. You then want to shoot out the wall at the side. This allows you a line of sight onto box. You then want to make your way into the closet. Again, reinforce the right hand panel and place your second mirror window as far left as you can. Once you have done this, then you want to shoot out a couple of holes above your mirror. You want to make sure these go all the way to the top so you are able to shoot uh, to Kobe your C4. And then you want to go ahead and make a rotation in between the bomb sites. So mirror will be, will be playing behind this mirror in closet, watching the hatch and of course the lobby stairs. And like we said before, you are able to Kobe your C4 onto anyone who is trying to plant on top or in front of the washing machine. After you've done this, this then in the match situation, once Mira has used her C4, she will swap positions with Mute, who will be playing further back in supply, and then take up position on this mirror window, ready to use her gun instead of her C4. And then of course Mute can use his C4 onto the washing machine. Moving on to Kai then, who of course is another operator to try and stop getting that lobby hatch open. He reinforces the hatch and then impacts either side of the classroom wall. Now again, they can place the thermite charge on the wall and it will still destroy the hatch. And it's actually amazing how far across you can go with that um, and still get that destruction. So you want to make sure pretty much the whole of the classroom wall is gone. You then want to reinforce the hatch on the left hand side of meeting before making your way down tower stairs into box and barricading the door into dirt or construction. You then want to put another board and barricade on the doorway to blue box and then make your way into your position which will be near the rotation hole in laundry ready to Kai trick the hatch. Now you don't want to throw this on straight away like I say you do want to trick it so when you hear um, a Habana charge go off or a thermite charge just before as soon as you can Kobe that up and then you are able to go and collect it. Make sure there is no one on the stairs when you go to do this because you will get shot. And there will be a maestro cam also watching the hatch to give you call outs to when all this is happening. After you've used your two electro claws then you can rotate into the corridor if it is safe to do so and protect laundry stairs or the back from here. Jaeger is third up on the list and you want to place your first ADS in lobby behind these sandbags to try and burn out one of Thatcher's EMPs, again to try and stop him getting that hatch open. Your second ADS wants to go in front of the washing machine before heading into supply and placing your third on the north wall. You then want to place a bit of barbed wire in the doorway between supply and box and then reinforce the two east walls of box into blue box. You then want to head up tower stairs and place a piece of barbed wire halfway up. Um, this is to notify Jaeger if anyone's pushing down here as well as slow them down for Maestro who will be getting a cheeky angle above. Now remember these two doors are barricaded. This is to stop a rush into blue box from construction and Jaeger's going to start off by playing behind this second one. If you punch out the panel you are able to get quite a nice pixel onto that construction entry. Once they've got that door open and applying pressure, you can fall back a little bit to the other doorway where you can again get another pixel into blue box and through from Harry Potter, again you get another couple of nice pixels. Once you put enough pressure on there and hopefully stop them from rushing, you can fall back into Harry Potter and just defend the tower stairs and anyone pushing the back. 
Mute is next up on the list. Then you're going to start off straight away by placing your first mute jammer on the corner of the table next to the sink. Um, this will stop. But this will mute the hatch in lobby, which forces your opponent to use that first EMP, which hopefully the ADS will burn out. You're then going to make your way into meeting, climb up the ladder into attic, and reinforce the two south walls before placing your second mute jammer on said walls. Your third mute jammer will go on the north two walls of Attic. These will be reinforced by Maestro. And hopefully the hatches will already be open by Maestro. But if they're not, you have a shotgun anyway. So you can shoot them. And then drop down into box. You then want to make your way into your position. Which will be in the corridor. You don't have to play. You can play behind the mirror window. Remember this wall will be open. But from here, you can get some nice right angles, hard angles onto the doorways if anyone is pushing or rushing. And it's at least it's a less expected position than behind the mirror window. You can get an angle into the corridor coming from blue box. Obviously, you don't want to be playing here if the hatch is open, but that will be reinforced and Maestro will be covering it from above. And you can always fall back behind that mirror window. You can place your final mute jammer in the corridor if you want to, just to stop yourself from getting droned out. And remember, once Mira has used her C4, you will be rotating into closet so you can use yours onto the laundry washing machine. Last but not least is Maestro, and you're going to start off by placing your first piece of barbed wire in the corridor underneath the hatch, and then you're going to head on top of the laundry washing machine and place your first evil eye as high up as possible you're then going to place your second piece of barbed wire near the basket in laundry this is to try and make them want to plant in front of washing machine where your c4s can reach from behind the mirror window your second evil light is going to go at the top of the laundry stairs to try and stop their hatch from getting open then you're going to make your way into meeting shoot open the hatch that we mentioned and then up into attic and shoot open the hatch in there you're then going to head over and reinforce the two north walls. Remember, both of the walls in Attic will be muted. And hopefully, by the time they've used their EMPs and Habana charges, Thermite charges, etc. to try and get the laundry hatch open, then they will not have enough to get these ones open as well. So Maestro will be playing up in Attic. You want to make a little kill hole here. This opens up the floor in Attic and the wall into meeting. And it enables you to get an angle onto the tower stairs to help Jaeger out. From, here, from the meeting hatch also, obviously you can shoot into meeting stop anyone from getting the other hatch and you can actually get an angle down into construction corridor from blue box through the other hatch in meeting now your maestro cams obviously the first one well the one on laundry stairs is to stop them getting the hatch and you can also zap people light them up for your second cam when someone is trying to plant now if you fire every single zap into someone while they're trying to plant it will down them um, you have to hit every single one that's why I think it's a good idea to try and light someone up with your first one on the laundry stairs and then you don't have to hit every single shot on your second one now communication is key with Maestro and whoever is playing behind the mirror window with the C4 because that C4 will actually destroy the Maestro cam on top of the washing machine so try and kill them or down them with the Maestro cam to begin with and then Maestro give them a call if he cannot do it for whatever reason and then the C4 can come in and kill someone on the washing machine that's it for this one then guys I really hope you enjoyed the video until next time take it easy and give them hell